Hey everyone, welcome to another video and today we've got a major news, big updates and that is in the world of Palworld, right? The big, the big update has finally dropped, right? After they last announced uh, somewhere in the middle of March that they were going to add a raid boss to the game, the update uh, finally dropped today, uh, kind of like midday uh, Central European time. That's when the update went kind of like went live. So the raid boss Bellanoir update is now live, right? So uh, all the patch notes are there. Uh, so we're gonna dive deep. We're gonna like do a deep dive into the patch notes and take a look at it. I'll be doing a live stream right after this video, and I'll be going through all the uh, changes in the patch notes, and I'll be trying to like experience them firsthand for myself. Uh, so yeah, I have Twitter right here. So open right here. Some. So this is the official Palworld Twitter account, and here we go. This is the big one. Uh, so this is the patch notes that they've released. So uh, version. 0.2.0.6 it's released for Steam and soon to be released on Xbox as well so the new content right implemented the first raid boss that is Bellanoa uh, you can summon the raid boss by using slabs at the new summoning altar right we need to check this out how do we obtain slabs raid boss raid boss files summoned by slabs are very powerful and cannot be captured oh no we cannot capture them work alongside your base pals to take on this powerful force Pair legs can drop after defeating raid boss pals. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, the extreme version of the raid boss is ex is incredibly powerful and difficult to defeat. So what is this extreme version, right? I'm I'm am I'm, I'm thinking they are talking about. Uh, so this would be the. Uh, so if you remember, in the achievements, like last time when we made a video about this, in the achievements, so. Uh, there were two, right? So one was defeat a summon Bellano, and the other one is defeat a summon Bellano Libero. So I'm guessing the Libero might be this enhanced, this extreme, sorry, this extreme version. So, uh, yeah, so th that's what it could be. That's what they could mean. So pretty much, right? So no new, so no information on what these slabs are and how to obtain them, right? Uh, so we'll we'll probably look into this once we uh, play the game but other than that uh, right what else uh, new training manual items have been added these manuals allow you to give experience points to pals right uh, experience points okay so new ways of adding so giving your pals XP, XP right so training ma ma manuals um, so before the only way your pals can get XP is like you know by you know doing work around the base fighting other pals, you know, defeating bosses, you know, the traditional way of getting XP. So now you have uh, training manuals which you can, you know, kind of like, it's kind of, uh, it's not exactly passive XP, but, you know, they will get XP. New item, ancient technical manual has been added. This manual gives you ancient technology points and can be randomly found inside dungeon chests. All right. So before the only way to get ancient technology points was right, was defeating, uh, you know, uh, dungeon bosses, um, tower bosses um, pretty much that was the only way of doing it so now you get ancient technical manuals right and these can be found randomly in the dungeon chest new recovery meds items have been added use these meds will slowly recover your HP over time alright so this is a big one so before you had no way of recovering your HP your HP will always recover over time right you can eat to maintain your hunger but you could never there, there was never anything like so in the middle of a fight right if your armor is down and you take HP damage right your HP will not you there's no way for you to gain HP right if you're if, if you're in a tight situation all you can do is hope you can, all you can hope to do is like kind of like uh, mitigate any other attack try and dodge str strap away you know keep yourself safe until your HP starts regen right so new recovery meds right but it says that using these meds will slowly recover your HP over time so what I guess this will do is it will slightly increase the rate to HP re your HP already recovers right so it kind of like acts like you know like a health pack in a way so during fights like you know you could sustain yourself a little bit more right rather than having to run around let your like usually you let your pal tank the hits you can like stay away from the enemy not aggro it towards yourself and kind of like stay safe until you get your HP and your armor back right so 
this um, this could be helpful uh, depends right depends on how much recovery this HP this gives right so it could could be helpful could be new item homebird thundercloud has been added when use this item will instantly move you to the nearest base um, okay so it's a it's a teleport it's an item you can use to teleport to your to the, your nearest base from anywhere so it's like kind of kind of like a you know get out of a tight you know get out of danger type thing right so wherever you are if you don't have a tower near but near you to TP uh, to safety so you can use this um, I, I'm guessing you can use this from inside dungeons and get yourself out of there so that you don't lose your loot or you don't lose your um, your items your pals right so it just TPs you to the nearest base fine new item ability glasses have been added when equipped you can see pal stats you can see pal oh so you can see wild pal stats without catching them ability glasses this is good for scouting I mean it's not a big game changer because like so far the pals I mean it depends unless you're like trying to build a ridiculous crazy as pal I mean this will be useful once you know PvP set comes in right once they put this pal arenas and you know things like that that's when ability glasses will be, will be good because when people are looking for good, good uh, pals with good stats you know trying to make certain strategies around certain strats so that's when ability class will be good so so far some really nice you know um, additions but nothing too game breaking as of now because I think by now a lot of people have you know accumulated you know a lot of ancient points ancient technology points and you know um, by now people are used to playing the game the way it is so like even this recovery med unless it, it's a, like an instant health recovery thing I don't think this would have made a big difference but yeah home birth thundercloud I don't think it's a big issue because I think you have plenty of you know um, towers you know teleport towers around the place right I think you have plenty of those so this never felt like you really needed something like this ability glasses yeah I think this has more use new stat boosting items have been added power fruit life fruit star fruit these items will boost pal stats when used Oh, interesting. So you don't need to use stat boosting items. Wait, 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 wait. So you don't need to use um, the pal souls anymore. Is this something that you can use as an alternative to pal souls? Yeah, pal souls can be somewhat rare depending on how lucky you are. So, uh, so apparently three new fruits that can be used to stat boost pals. It doesn't say temporary, so I guess this is permanent. So it looks like it's an alternative to pal souls. So you don't need a statue, right? Per se. In this case, you can just feed them the fruit from the looks of it, and they won't need a statue. Added a um, new passive mercy hit. Pals will this passive cannot reduce enemy HP. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, this is to help people. Um, this is to um, to help people capture you know raid bosses and all that you know when you're trying to capture a pal anything like a raid boss a legendary a dungeon boss a wild pal n n anything right your pal will sometimes you know accidentally kill it you know accidentally crit it you name it, it some some accidents happen right so pals with this with this passive right uh, so this is a way to get around that problem right they cannot reduce the enemy HP below below one uh, so this is to make sure they do not they do not take out I mean I mean it's fine right I mean yeah I, I guess it's a way of like you know helping people you know not knocking out pairs that you're trying to try that you're trying so hard to catch right new item ring of mercy has been added when wearing this ring you cannot oh okay this is this is to prevent you from killing uh, I mean like these two items I felt like you know I uh, I've done this. I've I've run into this issue, and I've also I've also you know accidentally killed pals and you know stuff like that. But you know it's part of the experience, I would say. And um, yeah, I mean like the, I would not use this, right? I, especially the Ring of Mercy. If if the Mercy hit passive comes, that's fine to my pal. 
but I would not waste a slot to have a ring of mercy. Uh, uh, I could use something else. Um, I could use some like an attack power uh, necklace or a defense power necklace or something better. Uh, instead of to uh, something uh, use something more beneficial in that item slot rather than the ring of mercy, uh, unless it's really really like you know a crucial pal that we need to get. So I don't see much use case for the ring of mercy as of now. New armor, multi climate undershirt can be added. Protect yourself from both the heat and cold with just one slot. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. I I was getting a bit tired of you know switching the thermal undershirt, the cold undershirt from every now and then. So multi climate, yeah, it's nice. New building, electric egg incubator has been added. This incubator consumes electricity to automatically adjust the temperature to optimum temperature for each egg. Oh my goodness. So it's like an incubation room sort of thing. Electric egg It's like an incubation room. So it adjusts the temperature to optimal temperature. So I'm, um, I'm curious how many eggs. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's a room with some egg slots in it. And then depending on the eggs you put, it'll adjust it to an optimal temperature for all eggs, right? Or does it have like, is it able to control the temperature for each egg? So that's, that's uh, yet to be seen. New building. Oh, mining site. The mining site, this mining site allows you to produce. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my God, guys, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. So you do not need to find an O base or anything. Now you can, now you can easily put the stone mining site and the O mining site and you can assign pairs to it and Hopefully they should be able to prioritize one and the other and you can have an infinite supply. Okay, I'm gonna test this out. With the ore mining side, I think we should be, so I, I'm guessing this is just the regular ore, right? This is not coal or anything, this is just the regular ore, yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's massive. The ore mining side is massive, right? Because like initially in the game, because ore, the regular ore is crucial for almost every metal you need to build, right? So it was, it was adamant. It was very important that you build your base at a, a site which generates, which has a spawn of O, right, of O around. So it was very important to build your base like that. In a single player instance, that's easy to find locations. In a multiplayer instance, yeah, uh, you're gonna have to deal with other players, right? So, so good. It's good that they um, did this. Because now you can build your base anywhere. You don't need to worry about location uh, when it comes to O. Right, what else? Changes to PALS. Kelpsy can now produce PAL fluids at the ranch. Oh, that is interesting. Oh my goodness. So now we can now we can get an in now we can get a supply of PAL fluids and we don't need to go around killing ping penguins and you know the um, all the water type pals just to farm pal fluids every now and then. Dumud can now produce high quality pal oil at the ranch. Oh my goodness, this is a good patch. Dumud is that that kind of like the slug mud monster kind of thing. He can mine, but now it looks like he can uh, produce high quality pal oil at the ranch. This is good. This is actually quite good. You can now reduce the weight of metal ore while riding a serpent terror. Wait, what does that mean? You can reduce the weight of metal O while riding a serpent terror. Oh, so when, when you're carrying metal O, it reduces weight. So you don't get overcumbered when you're on top of a serpent terror. I'm guessing that's what it means. I guess that's what it means, right? I guess that's what it means can now reduce the weight of metal ore. So if you're riding a serpent terror, the weight of metal ore you're carrying reduces, so you don't get overcumbered in easily. Increase the amount of ore dropped while riding Astragon. Oh, so Astragon becomes very important for farming now. I'm glad I bred a lightning strike Astragon. You can now raise PAL's rank to the maximum with the single synthesis using the PAL essence condenser. I didn't understand that. Condensation progress is now accumulated in the individual PAL. Negative PAL stats 
will now be resolved after spending some time in the PAL box. Oh, you can negate negative PAL stats like, um, you know, poisoned or sleepy or, they, uh, you know, they have all sorts of afflictions, right? They injure injuries and all that. So you can negate all that by putting them in the PAL box. So wait, what is this condensation pro You can now raise PAL's rank to the maximum with a single synthesis at the PAL. Uh, I'm a bit confused as to what this means. I'm, I'm guessing if you have, have if you have the you know if you have enough number of pals to condense, then you can just raise it to the maximum level in one go. Is that what it means? I think so, right? Condensation progress is now accumulated. Oh, you can accumulate the condensation process. You don't need to collect. You can like, all right. I think that's what it meant. So if you have sixteen, if you need sixteen of the same one pal to condense to get one level, you can do three now, get three later, and then the progress will still be there. I think that's what it means. All right, okay. So that's a nice quality of life update, right? That's good. I like these two. I like these two. I like the fact that you can now generate pal fluids at the range and then you can generate high quality pal oil at the range. This is really nice. The ore mining site is also really good, right? UI, while aiming a sphere, it'll now display how many of the target pals have already been captured. Okay, that's a nice quality of life update. In case you're trying to get the capture bonus stuff done, you can see how many people have been captured. So that's that's yeah that's all good. Equipment and item stats are now visible on the technology screen, even if you have not unlocked them. Oh yes, finally, this is nice. It, it is nice to see some stats before you actually unlock them, and ha and you have to like build them and then see the stats then and there, you know, to see that it's actually useless. This has happened to me. Uh, I I think this is this happened to me when I when I made the what was it the uh, can't remember. When I made a weapon or something, yeah, I remember this. The stats were bad. I didn't end. I I I I didn't end up using it in the end. So, yeah, it would be nice to see the stats of some uh, something before you can build it, like just to see the stats of like what it is before you can build it. The tutorial has been improved and renamed to Journey. Okay, you can now show a high journey in the game options. All right, there's a tutorial. Damage numbers. Damage number display size can be changed in the game options. In raid boss battles, the damage numbers tend to overlap a lot, and it may be difficult to see. Um, yeah, maybe it, 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 it wasn't a big issue. It, it, yeah, I, I never found the damage numbers an issue, but yeah, it's nice that okay, fine. It's nice that we can uh, deal. The, uh, we can uh, tackle the display size. Right. What else? Players items dropped by players after death on dedicated servers can now be picked up by anyone. After 24 hours of real time have passed. All right. Okay. So, if you died and dropped your items, other people can pick it up only after 24 hours have passed. So you have 24 hours to go and get your shit back. This is on a dedicated multiplayer server. So if you're on single player, I think you're just fine. And at a sleeping player emote. All right. Base related. You can now allow and disallow certain work for base spells at the monitoring stand. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, this is one of the things I wanted. Managing pals. Uh, the, a lot of times, some of my pals, they are dedicated and they are doing stuff which they do not, which they should not be, need to be doing, right? And then the pal who is solely dedicated for that does not have room to do that and he ends up doing nothing in base. I run into this issue a lot. Uh, whenever I need someone like a, a, a pal to you know, run the watering mill or some shit like that to you know make pa to make uh, you know pal stones. They are busy watering when we have plenty of people to water. I want this guy dedicated to just do this. So this is good, right? Uh, this will ensure that some of the bigger pals who get stuck in other areas do not venture and go to those job locations. They can keep them on uh, where they need to be. So this is good. This is good. That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Chest filters have been added. Okay, so we can filter inside chests. Crafted items are now transported from crafting facilities. Selecting allow transport when crafting will result pals transporting to those I those items to chests when finished. Yes. That is nice, but can you can we decide which chest to because right now my pals are like, you know, that they're just taking it to the nearest chest or something like that and they're making a mess of my organization. So it would be nice if you can 
if he can kind of like manage that as well it's nice that they can pick it up from the workbench but it's, it would also be nice if they know exactly which chest to put it in unless it is part of this and but it's not I don't see that it, it's it's mentioned here you can now edit your character's appearance at any time using the antique dresser oh so you had to build the antique dresser okay that's nice okay fine building and building and build but wait what building and Building and building. Wait, wait, what? Uh, oh, so wait, wait, right, right. Building, as in the action building, and you know, building piece. Okay, so that's together. Placement. I was like building and building. What, what? Placement rules have been relaxed. What do you mean by relaxed? You can now connect stairs facing upward. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. If you guys have seen my streams, right? It is so difficult to make a staircase, right? Why? because you cannot connect staircases to one another uh, especially if it's if it's facing up right uh, because you oh no wait it says you can connect stairs facing upwards so you can put it on the base and connect upwards but can you ca connect stairs one one after another because every time I need to put a foundation piece and connect because they need a connect foundation uh, but I guess that makes sense right if they need a foundation I'm not uh, okay so but you can you can connect one on the ground and make it face upwards all right that's good because all every time you need to put it on you need to latch it to something where it's going to go down from and that's how you connect it roof pieces can now be connected directly wait roof pieces can now directly connect to foundations can now be directly connected to foundations uh-huh okay so you don't need a wall but why would you do that? Why would you put it on? Okay, triangular walls can now can now be connected to stairs. Triangular walls can now be connected to stairs. All right. You can now force a pal to work and cancel their break by picking them up and throwing them towards the facility. Pals recover the sanity. I mean, like, um, we don't want to do that. We want them to take their breaks. Fixed assignments remain fixed even after a bad event occurs. Previously, some assignments would change due to certain conditions, but now they will remain fixed until a pa pal is placed inside the box. Alright, ban adjustment. Minimum heat and cold resistance have been added to various armors. You will no longer need to take off your heat resistant armor when it is cold at night in the starting areas. Oh my goodness, that's nice. So every armor has a heat and it has a minimum heat and cold resistance, right? So, ex for example, right in the starting area, in the grass areas, at night it gets cold for no reason. I mean, just because you have your heat armor on, like it's just regular, it's just the regular temperature, right? It just gets cold for no reason, right? And you just need to take off the heat armor for just for no goddamn reason. And this made things like so much like unnecessary harder for no reason. Reduce the button press time. Reduce the button press time in the egg incubator. Reduce the button press time. Okay, I'm no, I have no idea what that was all about. Change the pattern of German Knight Ignis to something more unique. What do you mean change the pattern? What 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 pattern? As in, is it a visual thing? Change the pattern. Added legendary blueprints for some firearms dropped from specific enemy. Oh, that is interesting. Corrected the selling price of diamonds. In single player, it is no longer possible to select the initial spawn point for multiplayer. Okay. Block the back of the starting area with rocks to prevent players from getting lost or stuck. The increased attack power multiplier of partner skills that increase the player's attack power while riding can be uniformly has been uniformly reduced from 2 to 1.2. Oh, they nerfed. So some partner skills can give you an attack multiplier. So they nerfed that for certain can't remember who, but I remember a few pals having uh, such passives, such partner skills. I mean, X now have a small chance of producing. Oh, this is cool. X has a small chance of producing alpha pals. So alpha pals is kind of like a, is the same. It's a va var variation on the pal with higher stats, not to the same level as a lucky pal, but somewhere up there. Flying and floating pals are now immune to fall damage. I mean, wasn't that all? Anyway, the case. They didn't shop prices adjustments bug fixes fixed a bug where treasure chest would become empty when dying 
uh, never ran into that one. Fix an issue uh, where the effect that increases the player's attack power while riding and duplicating and accumulating under certain conditions. Okay, fix an issue where players are not receiving loot when capturing pals when mounted. Adjust the HP of legendary pals to fix an issue where the H where the difference in HP being kept is too large. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that the HP between a captured legendary and a bred legendary was like was massive. I didn't know this was a thing. Fix an issue where pal would eat while riding. As in I mean I wouldn't mind if it eats while riding because hey, management, right? I think I, I thought that was a quality of life update. <laughs> Fix an issue where spheres thrown close to a pal would not hit and be lost. I've run into this not too often but a couple of times. Others improve various pals, models and textures. Okay, we'll just we'll just I guess they just reduce the hitboxes or may maybe some yeah, maybe they correct a few hitboxes so pals don't get stuck inside bases. Other than it's just some sound effects, some minor bug fixes. Uh what do you have here? Fixed an issue where sorting did not work on the server list. Dedicated servers now support various log outputs. Implemented a REST API, Tech Parable Gaming. You will learn how to build. Oh! Holy shit! Uh, remotely manage the server. Oh, they have a REST. Oh! Oh, nice. They have a, a released REST API. Ban the player, kick the player. Oh my goodness. Fast to set up our own servers. Four stop shout announce message. Oh, this is nice. All right, this is quite nice. Yep. I'm guessing we'll be getting some uh, nice apps out soon. Correspondence to travel. Get server metrics. Get server info. Oh, so it's all server related only, right? Gotcha. Cheating prevention. Fix some vulnerability that allows Steam account spoofing. Ooh, fix seven other critical vulnerabilities. Soundtrack, one new song song has been added. We are planning a larger more content pack update for summer of 2024. Oh my goodness, an even bigger one. All right, so there you guys have it, the big update, the raid boss update. Uh, what are my takes from this? I think it's a big win, this is good. So what are, what are the most, what, what are the crucial ones, right? First thing is, yes, we got the raid boss, right? You can get a raid boss, you can summon it as a summoning altar using slabs. We are yet to find out how do we get the slabs. There's an extreme version of the raid boss, so we need to keep a lookout for that. So, very important guys, we need to prep for this. Uh, so, Bellanoi is confirmed to be a dark type, right? I'm not sure about the extreme version, uh, but Bellanoi is a dark type, so prep your dragons, right? Prep your dragons. Uh, uh, the training manual, ancient training manual, not so bad. The recovery meds could be big depending on how much how how faster they help you they help you recover your hp so this could or could not be it could be useless but could be useful it could it could go either way uh home with thundercloud yeah i mean that's fine you find a lot of teleport towers everywhere so it's not too big of a deal to find one uh, i mean it's just my it's just my perspective right i feel like um, you have a lot of towers around Ability classes, yeah, this is quite nice. Um, never, never knew we needed this, but yeah, this is quite nice. I guess this is kind of like a prep towards PvP, right? So for PvP, you would like to see the stats before you catch it, so that you can build your team properly. Uh, this is also quite nice. Uh, set boosting items. I'm, I'm hoping that these are permanent. Uh, these are permanent, so you have an alternative to pal souls, and you do not need a statue to uh, p uh, increase your pal stats. This is also quite. Uh, this is also good for, especially. I, I guess this this would be quite nice for you know, new players, especially those who haven't gotten the hang of you know, you know, capturing dungeon bosses and you know things like that. These kind of items would help them. Multi climate undershirt. I, I like the multi climate undershirt. I think it is awesome. I I I think it's awesome that the fact that you don't need to waste your time. You know, switching out your undershirts every, every now and then. Electric egg incubator, yeah, I, it sounds nice. It, it's gonna help you, like you know, manage your eggs better. This is a big one. Oh, mining site. Oh, every base needs everyone. Every base needs this. 
or is needed for everything you know bullets metal or um, uh, sorry to make the ingots uh, for almost everything you need an ore right Kelsey and Dummard producing pal fruits and high quality pal oil at the branch that is big uh, the rest not so much I mean the negative the fact that you can get rid of yeah this is also quite good ne getting rid of the negative pal statuses uh, just by putting them in the pal box so this works out this is quite nice uh, what else what else what else have they increased no but yeah they haven't increased the number of pals you can add to the base and things like that right there's some other ones which I felt like they could have done but yeah so far nothing else um let me see oh this one managing your pals uh what work they can do from one issue stand i think this will make bases run a bit more sm it'll run it'll make bases run a more smoothly now especially if you want a certain pal to be dedicated to one task so that you know uh priority to that to that certain task is always given yeah so there you guys have it. Pal World Patch version 0.2.0.6, a big update, the first raid bus. So we're going to jump into a live stream right after this video and we're going to start checking out this update. Let me know what you guys think about uh, the new update. Are you guys excited for it? Are you guys excited for the new raid bus? Hit me in the comments below and yeah, let me know what your experience is like. Uh, I would really like to know. Um, so. Uh, a bit of a lengthy video but there was a lot to cover in this patch note so yeah uh, do like share subscribe and turn on notifications if you guys enjoy the content and i will see you guys uh in a bit then uh, i'll see you guys uh, in the next video live stream then till next time then bye bye